New at 11, his owners call him the perfect dog. Tonight, two-year-old Haas is fighting for his life after getting between a rattlesnake and a little girl, and the snake bit the German Shepherd multiple times. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank joins us live from Blue Pearl Animal Hospital, where Haas is being treated. And the first thing we all want to know is, how is he doing tonight? Well, right now, he may be fighting for his life, but his owners believe that he saved the life of their six-year-old daughter. And tonight, Cynthia, he is on a steady drip of anti-venin. Haas is usually 68 pounds of laughter, loyalty, and love, especially to seven-year-old Molly. The bond that they've created in a short time has been unbelievable. And it almost became deadly. Hey, baby. Haas. Haas is in intensive care at Blue Pearl Vet Hospital. Is his leg getting any better? Wednesday afternoon, Danya DeLuca's daughter, Molly, was in the backyard with Haas and her grandmother. She saw him jump back and go forward and jump back and go forward. He was just kind of holding his ground. Next thing we know, there's blood and, you know, he, he was limping and crying. Vets identified three snake bites. I didn't know if they would be able to help him. It's still touch and go. It's the price of loyalty. He made a choice and he was standing up. And I know just based on his temperament, he was standing up for my daughter. He was he was standing in between. He didn't budge. You know, he kept taking hits and she was on the other side of him. And so is my mom. There's so much venom inside. He's getting a steady drip of anti-venom instead of the more typical one or two doses. But when you consider the alternative. I feel really grateful for the dog. It's frightening to think it could have been my daughter because I don't know if she would have made it. The DeLucas are thankful but fearful their hero won't get a welcome home. I couldn't even sleep last night. I have not, I've barely slept because uh, it is bittersweet. You know, I really, I'm doing everything I can. I feel like I owe it to him, you know, to keep trying to save him. that is still moving through his veins. They will be watching uh, uh, him very closely here tonight. He is in the intensive care unit. 24-7 care here for them, for him. Yeah, and before he let you go, Evan, um, I'm sure they've seen snake bites before their dogs get treated for that, but what are they saying about his chances and about just how many bites he sustained and how bad it was? Well, certainly the more uh, bites, the more venom he had in him, they uh, say that it's been an up and down kind of a thing. At first, they thought he had a very good chance. He started to go down, started to degrade. The breathing became slower. He became a little bit more faint. So they really do believe it's a touch and go situation here. All right. We're all pulling for Haas tonight, that's for sure. Thank you so much, Evan Axelbank.